be me, okay? Everyone can be me. <laughs>
and we won. and moving my fingers across the keyboard, but was that music? No. I just hadn't discovered what playing meant for me. Eventually, when I was about 10 or 11, I reluctantly accepted that these lessons were going to happen. There was just no use being defined. <laughs> Occasionally, I'd still be unhappy, but for the most part, it was all right. There were even days when I'd play and actually enjoy myself. That's when I'd get closest to creating music. On those days, all I could think about was what I was playing. My imagination would go wild, and my heart would jump with emotion. Chopin's romantic joy, Beethoven's thundering anger, Schubert's pondering. Don't get me wrong, it was still work, but it had become enjoyable work. And I told myself that being tired could be worth it. And so on days like those, I played, I played, and I played. As time went by, there were more and more of these days. Now, more often than not, if I come home from school feeling angry or upset, I rush to the piano and I play. At first, I don't necessarily play well, but as I calm myself down, I forget about the stress associated with school and the chaos of everyday life. I put my mind and my heart fully into the music, and I get up in 30 minutes, or an hour, or three, feeling happy. So, what is piano for me? It's emotional freedom. It's comfort. It's a release of tension. It's joy. It's pain. It's a combination of feelings trapped inside the keys. It's pride in what I can do. It's squinting at the notes because the printing company did a poor job. <laughs> in short, to me, it's everything. Thank you. 
until the election rules are open for nominations. Again, you need to come and talk to me if you would like to run for a position. You need to decide that by the very latest Monday because uh, all the paperwork is due by Tuesday. So basically, you have to decide by Monday if you want to run for an executive position. And this is not the class level councils. Class level councils elections will happen after executive. This is only for executive. Thank you. Um, one quick plug for this weekend's uh, robotics competition at Seaside High. If you want to sign up early, I have instructions. Otherwise, show up and say, I'm here. Do you need me? And they will say, yes, and they will put you in a row. <laughs> The city of Monterey has a sister city relationship with a uh, place in Japan called Nanao. And the Monterey Rotary Club sponsors an exchange program every summer where a handful of Japanese students come to Monterey for a week uh, or so, a few days, and then you get, would get to go to Japan. Uh, the, the obligations are all, there's not much financially. You have to pay for your airfare and you have to participate in the hosting of the Japanese students when they're here. The exchange period when you when they're here is late July when you would travel is the first of first week of August, be back in time for school. Uh, the deadline for application is uh, early in April. So if you're interested, you don't have to speak Japanese, just uh, be interested in going to Japan with a group of uh, students from this area. If you're interested in that, uh, please let me know as soon as possible and if you can't find me, uh, send me an email and I can put you in touch with the people who uh, manage the program and you or your parents could get any questions that you have answered at that point. So Sister City Exchange Program in uh, now Japan this summer.
Um, all of the accepted students for this coming school year are coming for their accepted student celebration. Um, thanks to the SHIELD students who will be there to help us out. But let's all take some pride in the campus today. People are going to be visiting, and those new Falcons like to wander around when they're here. Who has a work job? <laughs> <laughs> Who solemnly swears to do their work job for me today? Really? <laughs> So this is for parents at home and for you, you students to go home and talk to your parents. If you buy a Best of Life ticket, which is $100, you don't have to be in the room. If that ticket is drawn, you can choose from any of the following items in the live auction, and you get it just for the price of that ticket. So here we go. Warriors tickets, four Warriors tickets, VIP parking, for the game against the Denver Nuggets on April 2nd. It's the most important game left in the season. These are club, these are, these are sideline club tickets. These are really, really great tickets. Seven rows up, center court. So these are great tickets. Um, a two night stay in Paso Robles at a cottage in, uh, on, a wine, on a winery property and some wine tasting for the parents. Um, <laughs> Three, three reserved floor level tickets for Hugh Jackman in San Jose and, in a, and a complete VIP experience. This is a $5,000 value item for the price of one best of life ticket if it's drawn. An evening of French food and French cinema with Mr. Daniel and Miss Giacchetti. <laughs>
work that is many times frustrating makes it more enjoyable on the other side. Um, York's small but mighty track team had their first meet uh, Tuesday with several people competing in their first running event ever. Um, we had lots of PRs, we had several winners of events. Uh, we had one heck of a race of a mile between Adam and Michael and uh, some of the PG runners. Um, so that was a great success for us, our next meet. And we had lots of support, so thank you for those who came out. Our next meet is April 3rd. I will be up here to remind you again about that, and that's in PG. Um, they are really exciting to come watch, um, and there's plenty of time for you to come down on the field and talk to the runners about how they feel after they're done. Uh, <laughs> next one. Uh, the other is adding to what Ms. Moneypenny said. Uh, starting tomorrow, York's robotics team will be competing in the first ever Monterey Bay Regional. Um, tomorrow's full of the frustrating inspection period, and once we get through that, we can have our practice matches. And then Saturday, Sunday will be our lots of game matches, and we will know our schedule as of Friday morning, and that will be posted on the York Facebook page. So if you'd like to come watch this, please do on Saturday and or Sunday, um, and check out the York Facebook page for when we'll be competing. Please clean it up and also do your job. Second day, uh, Executive Student Council in the theater for the talent show running through. So, thank you. So